Hmm. Hmm. It is the piece. It's not the piece. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Robot Spirits Robot Damashi Ares number 138. This is, oh it's from the Wing series by the way, this is easily one of my least favorite mobile suit designs of all time. Uh, the figure is not particularly bad, I mean it's fairly accurate, it's just I really don't like this design. It's just so awkward looking in most cases. I mean once you get it posed it can look pretty sweet like in that pose right there it looks fine. It's just I don't know it's not for me it's not my cup of tea. I'll try to keep that bias set aside though. He stands about five and a half inches tall so pretty standard size. I like this color blue that they used it's a really nice color and they've got kind of this off gray color too so it's kind of a really nice composition uh, with a little gold accent here and there and a little bit of red. It's pretty cool looking and then you get a little bit more uh, color even as you go, but I'll get to that in a minute. First, let's go through the articulation, and I want to point out, I just opened this just now, so I don't, uh, I'm not an expert on this figure, so we're going to kind of learn together. It looks like the head's on a ball peg, and then the neck is also on a ball peg. It's super limited though, like really, really limited, just due to the sculpt. And I mean, you couldn't turn it too far anyway, because he's got these giant uh, intakes, it looks like. Uh, next to his head, so it's not super imperative that he has a lot of articulation there. There is a hinge right here, by the way. Uh, then the intake things are connected by a ball peg, and it looks like, yeah, just a fixed ball peg. So that's just going to move around on there. Reminds me a little bit of the Arbalest, if you're familiar with that figure. Of course, it has nothing to do with it. But that moves around on there, so you can get some posability out of it. So that's not too bad. And then the shoulders are actually articulated underneath, or on the other side of that. Kind of like a standard robot damashi, but it's very, very limited due to the sculpt here of the socket. Uh, the shoulder pads are individually hinged, as is pretty normal, but you're still super limited. So don't expect to get a whole lot of posing out of this guy. I mean, you can pose him, but it's going to look fairly awkward, I think, a lot of the time. We do have a bicep swivel right there, single jointed elbow, only about 90 degrees. Uh, the wrist double ball peg, so that's pretty good. I always prefer the double ball peg as compared to the single ball peg. Uh, for the waist, we have, let's see what we have. Um, <clears throat> let's see, well we have a hinge there, but I suspect that hinge, which is hidden by this little flap right here, I th I'm pretty sure that's for the transformation. So we just have basically this ball peg that the whole upper body is kind of bouncing around on, which is okay but it's still not the greatest. Uh, for the hips, really limited for the hips. I mean, they're basically just on a swivel. They do have the ball joint, so I mean, they can move, but you're not going to get any use out of them, really. It's actually kind of like the shoulders, uh, the butterfly shoulders on some of the Gundams. It's a ball peg, and then the socket is hinged in there, so, I mean, there is articulation, but you're not going to get a bunch out of it. Uh, for the knees, we have a double jointed knee and then the knee pad is on a hinge. So that's pretty good range of motion, I suppose. Although the legs look horrible, they're so skinny, you're going to have a hard time posing this guy and making him look good. We have a swivel for the ankle and then a hinge for the foot. Does that rotate? Uh, yeah, it does rotate. I'm guessing that's going to be for the transformation though. I don't know, there's a swivel here too, it looks like. Sometimes it looks awesome and I want to like it a lot. It has kind of a Shogun look to it with these big kind of hips or thighs, but I don't know, whatever. Let's move on. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people really like it. and It's kind of growing on me despite some of its limitations. It does have an alternate head that has more of kind of like a fighter jet pilot look to it. So that's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure that's for once you put it into airplane mode, as I like to call it. We do have this backpack that adds a lot of coolness to him. Uh, does it go up or down? It's going to go up. So that should snap on just like this. Let's see if I'm right. Looks like I'm right. It looks like those would go the other way though. Let's see. No, that's the way it goes. Alright, so the backpack snaps on there. There's where you're going to get your little stage holder. 
So adding that to him makes him look pretty cool. He's definitely starting to look a bit like a jet. I wish these things would stop folding in though. Alright, so we have that. Um, it's telling me to rotate something. I'm assuming the person I bought this from already had it rotated and that's what that is. So that's cool. Uh, so as I was putting it uh, back together to put back in the packaging, I realized something while the cat was trying to bother me that this, the hinge thing I was talking about, is that you can fold the wings down if you want to. Now I don't know if it actually ever happens like that in the show, but you do have that option if you want it. So you can either have them up or down. Uh, what else do we have here? What's it pointing at for this? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it's not. It's pointing at the other thing. Okay, so you saw the heads are interchangeable, and now we have other things. Oh, it's telling us what to do with the legs. I don't freaking know. So what we're going to do is not worry about the legs. I'll show you the guns we have, first of all. So we have this more of a standard rifle with the blue thing up there. It's cool the way they have this thing on here. And then the handle is collapsible. I'm pretty sure the gun can connect to the uh, wing. Is that right? Let's see. Um, yeah, that is right. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is I just took this piece off. And then number two, it says you're putting it back on the bottom. So now we can peg that in here. Let's see, this should just peg on here then. And it does. So we have these guys right here. I guess you can put them on either side. But this one has a handle because it can also be held as a gun. As you can see in that image right there. So this is that. Okay, so that's fine, but I guess you can also peg it in on here so you can have these on both sides. This crotch piece replaces that crotch piece for using the flight stand, the display stage. So now he's got a gun hanging down there. It looks pretty awesome. These blaster things up here. He's got the wings. Looks pretty sweet. I gotta say that's kind of cool looking figure. So now we can try to transform him. And we're gonna look at the directions really quickly. And it looks like for the transformation, they don't, uh, unless the guy didn't send me, oh, here it is. So we're folding that back, okay? So we fold the hips back, it looks like. So far, so good. That flight stand hole, it looks like the crotch pegs into there. And we're going to leave the legs going straight back, it looks like. Are these hinged? No. All right, so that's pegged into there. So we've got a little bit of a more aerodynamic look. And then what do we have to do? We have to fold. Hmm. We put those on there, we put those on there. I think it's time for us to do this leg thing. So, apparently there's a mechanism in here that's holding the leg. And it looks like I'm just supposed to pull on it. There it is. Leg pops out. And now we have alternate legs, which I haven't showed you yet. Alternate legs that go in all the way up there. So the whole purpose of this bit right here is to shorten the legs. So how do I do it? Like that, perhaps. Yes, so we fold the legs, take those legs off, put the new legs in backwards, or what looks like backwards. So pull the kneecap down, and then pull the leg out, put this leg in, like, get out of there kneecap, in like that. So now, I guess, hmm. I guess that's it, other than that crotch piece I told you about. Well, that's kind of cool looking. I rather like that. So he still has his arms available, but he's compact and flyable. That's pretty sweet. I do like that a lot, actually. I was expecting to not like this guy. I'm quite impressed, despite the lousy review quality. It's worked out rather nicely. Still not sure about this guy, though. Um, maybe it goes on here. There we go, let's just drop it. It goes on there clearly, but what for? If anybody can read that, read it.
Tell me what it says. Por favor. Maybe it's uh, an extra flight stand holder. I don't know. But that's it. That's the uh, flying mode. And we do have four hands, alternate hands. I showed you the fists throughout the review. And then the alternate hands are pretty simple, pretty standard. And we have the open palm jazz hands for the style pose. Is it me or does this camera look red to you guys? It looks like there's a red hue to it. Hopefully it's not so bad in the actual footage. And then we get the standard gripping hands. So that's pretty nice. Total of six hands. A surprisingly cool uh, flying mode. Apparently, what is that? Is that supposed to be folded forward? It said somewhere for that little crotch piece. No, you fold it back. So that just hides that articulation. So that's cool. Then you replace the crotch piece with, I uh, just un undid something, I think. Anyway, now you've got the uh, uh, stage, display stage port right there. And he's pretty sweet. You can have him hold that. I like that. I didn't think I was going to like it, but now I like it. So there's the Aries, guys. Does that extend or anything? It doesn't, unfortunately. So that's cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that wasn't too irritating and horribly grating since I wasn't sure what I was doing. But there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.